Hey everyone, my name is Lovestar. Welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for today. So, um, we have some pretty big updates and look how pretty the sky is. Oh my goodness. It's so pink. How did I never notice this before? That is really pretty. Anyway, we have a very big update today to the Fairy Core series, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, first things first, I want to give our soup girl a name. So we have our little kitchen maid here. And, um, okay, why do I have this? There we go. So I'm gonna make myself a color tag for her, and we're gonna give her her name. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited for today. I know I kind of say that all the time. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, sorry. I'm like hyping it up anyway. Let's make her collar tag first. I don't know why I'm doing this first. I just kind of wanted to get get it out of the way. Okay, so we are going to name her... Sha oh, caps. <laughs> Chanterelle. So I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's a really cute name. I'm actually not sure what that means. Maybe it's a type of mushroom. It kind of sounds like it would be. Hi. Okay, so we have Chanterelle, our little kitchen maid girl. And I guess I have two bowls here, so I'm gonna just, there we go. She's being very, very productive. And okay, so I did clear out my inventory a little bit before I started, but then I got completely distracted. So I need to still put this away. And I don't think we need bone meal. I need to put these uh, trophies back. But let's get on to the announcements after I sleep though, because it's dark and I'm scared. <laughs> okay guys, so are you ready for the announcements? So I updated the Fairy Core mod pack. So first of all, there is an update if you want to update your mod pack and play with all the new mods I added. So I'm gonna tell you guys what is new and I made a little lectern here so I can show you guys all the new mods. So we have Biomes of Plenty. I updated Critters and Companions because it had a few new features, including the jumping spider. By the way, um, I posted a mod review for five creature mods that I really like and I included Critters and Companions. If you want to check it out and learn a little bit more about some of the mods in this Fairy Core mod pack, you should go check it out. Anyway, um, I added Crystals Overhauled, LD Shadow Lady's Flower Breeding Replanted, Straw Golem, Adalon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, Cork, Dragon Mounts, and Nature's Compass. So. Actually, I think this is Legacy, not just Dragon Mods. But anyway, so we have some new mods. We have nine new mods. And um, just a quick disclaimer, um, if you're going to install the mod pack, I'm going to go ahead and put these trophies away while I'm saying this. But um, I did not include Biomes of Plenty in the mod pack update because I didn't want to mess up your guys' worlds just in case you wanted to update and then like load up your same worlds. I didn't want to mess with any of the world generation. So if you want to install Biomes of Plenty, you can. Um, but yeah, so that's just an option that you can do um, if you really want Biomes of Plenty. Um, but I just didn't include it in the actual mod pack just in case because I didn't want to like corrupt your guys' worlds or anything like that. By the way, can we just appreciate how pretty this little area is like with all the like greenery? Oh my gosh, I honestly love it here. But anyway, so yeah, we have biomes of plenty. So actually I had my members vote for, what is this doing here? Vote for whether they wanted to whether they wanted me to add Biomes of Plenty or just keep the vanilla generation that we already have and Biomes of Plenty won. I'm honestly not surprised because I feel like, you know, change is fun. Biomes of Plenty is awesome. And speaking of which, if you want to become a member on my channel and get early access to videos and of course exclusive polls like the one I did, blah blah blah, bunch of perks, go check it out. First link in the description. But anyway, yeah, so we installed Biomes of Plenty. Now the thing is, um, I didn't want to get rid of all the terrain that I already have around our forest, so I kept a lot of it. I had to reset the chunks so that new terrain could load, but we still have our original area here. So nothing's really changed in the vicinity, but... 
Um, the farther out we go, we'll see some new terrain and I'm really excited to show you guys because I did fly around a little bit in creative to check that everything was working properly and there's a really pretty area like over there that I wanted to show you guys. I didn't really look that closely or anything but yeah. The new chunks took ages to load so I just wanted to get some of it like going already. Um, so I didn't have to just sit there and watch the world load. But yeah, anyway, I am so excited to play with all the new mods. And I'm really excited to play with Adalon. Uh, it's like a magic mod. I don't know much about it, but it looks really freaking cool. And I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who left mod suggestions in my... Um, previous videos and everything like that. I did ask for some so I'm really glad that you guys were helping me out because I really love all the additions that I found. So yeah, and I'm also glad that I have Quark. I actually, um, I don't know why I uninstalled it. I used to have Quark in this mod pack but then I got rid of it. But anyway, I don't want to wander around for too long doing nothing because that's what I usually do in my intros. So let's see. Um, let's go explore just for a little bit. Um, because I, you know what, let me take this book, just in case. I want to show you guys Bimes of Plenty since I've been talking about it, and we can't really see it, like, here. So, we still have most of the magical forest biome. I kept basically the entire, oh, oops, basically the entire biome. And we have the strawberry fields that's, like, all the way over there. We have, um... Kind of like the lavender hills that's up there and yeah so we have a lot of the original terrain around our spawn point but um past that it's gonna be new and i'm really really excited oh my gosh i love biomes of plenty actually the only reason i don't i didn't have biomes of plenty originally is because when i was first making this series i was playing on my laptop and i was unsure on whether or not Bams of plenty would be a little bit too heavy and actually it ended up yeah honestly when i would play on Bams of plenty um on my laptop it would crash a lot so i'm kind of glad that i held off on it but yeah it's such a good mod I really love it. I, I tend to always play with it in my Let's Plays, so I'm pretty glad that I have it now. And, um, okay, so we're gonna go to this area. I want to show you guys what I found. And, oh my gosh, so <laughs> there's this anthill here. And since I did my mod review, I learned a lot about pocket pets, which is where the anthills come from, and also like Critters and Companions, as I said. And what else? It was um, Unusual Fish. Oh my god, I love that mod. And, oh god, there was like two more. I can't think of it right now. But yeah, um, it was a fun video to make, especially because I got to learn a lot about the mods. Because <laughs> when I make my mod packs, I typically just kind of add mods that I think are cool, and then I don't really look into them until later. So, hence the learning process that we have to <laughs> do. But yeah, so I did, I did learn a lot about like pocket pets especially because there's a lot of cool functionalities in that mod and I really want to actually, I want to get those ant eggs from the ant nests. I think we have to kill the ant queens or something, but yeah. So we still have this lavender forest. This was always here. Actually, wait. Yeah, that's still, oh, no, wait. This looks, this is from Mystic's Biomes, but that tree right there, that looks like Bimes of Plenty, doesn't it? I know Bimes of Plenty also has a lavender forest that looks pretty similar. Oh yeah, look, this is this is already Bimes of Plenty right here. So that's kind of interesting. The lavender fields are like <laughs> connected, but they're from two different mods. And this is good because Hakaranda in Bimes of Plenty is a beautiful wood type. It's like a very pale pink and I like it a lot. So I'm gonna plant back these saplings. So here we go, we're already in new terrain. All the way over here. Wow, this is really pretty. Look at this. Gorgeous. Even with the snow and everything. Oh, hi. Um, I wonder, can we grow these? Oh, wait, I wanna grow these. These are cute. We're gonna grow some raccoon grapes. Questionable rations, okay. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna grow these because they're really cute looking and I think they would make a nice little garden, but anyway. So the area I wanted to show you guys is actually over here. Oh god, I feel like the visibility is lower. Let me- hold on. 
All right, I turned up my render distance a little bit. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Oh my God, I wish it wasn't freaking snowing right now because you can actually see it better. But check this out, guys. There's like a beautiful, beautiful um, clearing over here with a river. I'm going to go over here to the edge. And then we have like, I think this is a redwood forest and a cherry blossom. Cherry blossom forest. I am so excited. I think these two biomes look really pretty. Like... This whole area is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Ah, this is so cool. So before this used to be a oak forest, I think, this area. But now it's a cherry blossom. How awesome is that? Oh my gosh. This is so cool. What is that up there? Is that a hexeray tree? What? Oh my god, I didn't even notice you were here. Hi. <gasps> no, two of them. Oh my gosh, get away. Stop it. Okay, I killed her. Yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get, girl. I hope you die. Will she die? Let's see. Oh, nope, she's not She's not dead. How does that not kill you, you freaking little frick? Okay, she dropped an iron box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, iron horse armor. I don't got no horse, though. So I guess it's kind of useless. Anyway, let's go over here. Because I think I saw that tree. It looks a little bit suspiciously like a hexery tree. And that's actually something I'm going to be needing. So let's go see what kind of tree this is. This might just be Bimes of Plenty. I'm honestly not sure. Uh, oh, yes! Willow! Okay, cool. I'm going to take this. I actually... Oh, hello! What are you doing here? It is not even nighttime. There we go. Okay. Um, anyway, what was I saying? So I actually, I need to find mahogany from Hexeray because I wanted to use it for today. I did mention that I was going to- is this a swamp by the way? What is this? This is very interesting. Um, I did mention I think last episode that I wanted to have a witchy themed episode for Hexeray and today is that day guys! We are going to be messing around with Hexeray. What is this? Oh, I think we already have all the herbs. Is it- Seriously, already- oh my god, I feel like I just slept. Why is this day gone by so quickly? So, I need mahogany. I don't really know what that's supposed to look like. Oh, you know what? I feel it- OH MY GOD! Jesus Christ, I've never seen you before. Oh, Jesus. That scared me. Okay, that was a slime curl. Oh, that's like a- what? Okay, you know what? I'm scared. I'm scared. Um. Okay, let's- should I use my sleeping bag? I kind of want to stay up. <laughs> Actually, I kind of want to stay and kill mobs because, uh, here, let me grab my pixie pet. I want to use my bow, honestly. that That's the only reason. I just kind of want to, you know, get some training in, I guess. Oh, and this is a spruce forest, isn't it? It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, looks really cool. And there's like bamboo here. And oh my god, this, what is that? There's a little crow. I think it's a crow. Whatever. Anyway. There. This biome is really pretty. I love it. Love it. And I can one-shot a spider. How cool is that? Oh, hello. It's hexeray crows. Um, I can tame those guys with seed mixture. Oh. I think that's a banshee. <gasps> I'm leaving. Oh, hello, slime girl. Why? I'm not even in the freaking swamp anymore. Oh, Jesus. Wait, why can't I hit her? Hello? There we go. Okay. I am getting swarmed. I feel like I'll be fine though because- oh my gosh, she's so bright. I feel pretty protected here, especially with Spook. And uh, I've been gearing up, guys. Speaking of which, I know where my freaking sword went. You remember that sword I couldn't find? Melody was holding it. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna take it from her and we're gonna uh, re-enchant it and see if we can get a better sword. Because although I am an archer, primarily because of my origin, I still like to use my sword. Um, let's see if I can kill the spider. Oh, crap. I think I missed. There we go. Two shots. Freaking awesome. Oh my god, this knockback is crazy. Okay, there we go. Let's go down. And that village is still there, which is good, because I, I wanted to keep all the villages that were nearby. Especially our village. The town of Asteria. 
What a cool little name. But yeah, anyway. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this update. I'm so excited to try all the new mods. Um, especially there's like the the Aldi Shadow Ladies flower breeding mod. And that one's going to be really fun because we're going to be able to do some gardening. Very, very fun. And um, the Adalon mod. I really got to research more about that one. But it sounds, it seems pretty freaking cool. So I'm really excited. And um yeah, so today we're going to be mostly working on Hexeray, and oh my gosh, guys, so I was thinking to myself earlier, and I was like, you know how I'm doing the, uh, oh, ferret, wait, how do I tame you? With, ah, not with that, um, with meat, I don't have any meat, okay, never mind. It would be nice if we could tame a, t a ferret, it would be kind of useless though. Uh, mm, should I summon these ants? Let me do it. Let's get some ant eggs. Um, mage light. Mage light. Anyway, what was I saying? So, I was thinking about this. Since we're doing Hexeray in the Twilight Forest, you know what I can call myself? I can call myself a Twilight Witch. Isn't that freaking awesome? A Twilight Witch? I think that's really cool. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna see if I can kill some ants here. I don't really know how to- Oh, crap. I don't know how to make them spawn. Oh, these are fire ants. Ew. Okay, where are the eggs? I want ant eggs. Oh god. Hello. That's the queen! Give me egg! <gasps> yes! Oh, she gave me one. Here, let me try to- hold on. I want it. I want it! Fire ant egg. Okay, I hope we can use that to actually get the, uh... <sighs> What's it called? The amethyst ants. Let me check, because what I'm trying to do is get an amethyst ant. And we need to craft the amethyst ant eggs. We can use- yes, okay, so we need amethyst shards and bottle of amethyst. I can't get the recipe for some reason. What the heck? I know there is a recipe. I think you have to brew it or something. But anyway, um, let's get out of here. So, okay, I really want to get an ant- an ant pet. I think that's gonna be really cool. Really, um, weird, but- Pretty, pretty cool. So, anyway, <laughs> we're gonna tame so many pets now that I know how to tame more pets. Oh my god, I'm gonna tame so many animals, guys. It's gonna be crazy. Anyway, so yeah, I'm excited to do some hex array today. Um, the mod is, as I mentioned earlier, um, there's not that many features just yet. Like, uh, the, the mod is still under development, so a lot of the features aren't out just yet, but... I feel like there's still a lot to do, and even if they're- oh, you're a little baby! Even if they're not, like, full-fledged, like, things, I feel like it's still gonna be really fun. Why are you not dead? Can you just freaking die? Anyway, yeah, so I'm- oh, Spook! <laughs> Spook scared me with her freaking glowing eyes. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to try out all the little things we can do. Um, so what I wanted to do was make a sage burning bundle or something and it's supposed to help keep mobs away from a certain area and I want to put that in my f in my fairy forest because I'm tired of mobs entering my freaking home and killing my 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 friends so I'm going to I'm going to do that and maybe even around the village now that I think about it cuz I feel like we definitely need some protection around here I hope the villagers are still you know, alive. There's no bed in here still. Oh my god, I totally forgot. I, th like, I like didn't finish this house. Oh my gosh. Okay, this village, it's still under construction, just letting you guys know. Like, I'm not really done with it. Hi, Grover! Um, there's still other things I want to do. Um, especially, I want to add some, like, trees. <gasps> oh! Oh no! Zombie! Oh my gosh! Why is your door open? Oh, that was dangerous. Okay, see? We definitely need, like, some sort of protection around here. I think Eric is still alive. I, I saw him a bit earlier. So, oh, Grover's lost. Okay, that's because you're stuck on a freaking light. Come on, Grover, move. Hello. Uh, okay, follow me. Your house is this one, right? I think it's, I think I gave him this house that still doesn't have any windows. Hello. Okay, so your home is uh here, Grover, I think. Hi. All right, cool. Move freely, bro. I don't know why I call him bro, but anyway, let me place this down again. 
There we go. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck on that again. I don't know why. <laughs> like, what? Just move, Grover. It's not that hard. Anyway, this place needs some light. Yeah, um, it's really dark here, actually. Oh my gosh. I totally need to, like, light this place up a little bit more. We'll put some mage lights just for now. I really love the green ones because they literally look like fireflies. And I have a firefly on my head. <laughs> so, okay. Let's go home and start working on Hexeray. I'm really excited. Oh yeah, but before that, I need to I need to do my sword enchant finally because oh my gosh, it's been like ages. It's been ages since I've been I've been trying to do that. So, okay, let's get Melody. She is here. And I'm going to take your sword. My inventory is so full. We need to find mahogany. Because that's, that's something I need for today. I think if we go that way, there should be a jungle and maybe that's where it is. I'm not really sure. Okay, Melody, why don't you actually go into your house? I feel like she needs to, uh, she needs to take a little breather. She's been just riding around in a piece of paper for too long. <laughs> also, I love her house. I would totally live here, honestly. Melody, I hope you like it. I worked hard on this place, but anyway. So, let's, okay, we're gonna clear this enchant. Hopefully we get like sharpness 4 or something. I have 39 levels, which is pretty good. So we might get something good, hopefully. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take us the entire like... We'll probably have like two or three tries, I think. Um, anyway, so we're gonna... We're gonna um, since the sun is rising, we're gonna go that way. We're gonna go to the jungle area and hopefully we'll find some mahogany. Because I think it's supposed to grow there. I'm not too sure. But, oh, you know what? Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, cute. I'm getting distracted. But I really, I was thinking about this earlier. I really want to actually add some leaves to the, to the enchanting room. Oh my god, I never cleared out that chest. Uh, let's see, let's see. I need to just like shear a little bit off of a tree. Let's just take some of this. So anyway, did I even finish my sentence? <laughs> I want to put some leaves inside the enchanting room because I was thinking this place definitely needs some leaves. Like it felt a little bit too empty still. So, okay. Uh, let me take some of here. 27. Okay, that should be enough, hopefully. I hope this snow stops. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's the thing I don't like about winter in Minecraft <laughs> is all the snow. It gets everywhere. I guess that's also the same in real life. Snow does get kind of everywhere. But yeah. Okay, so. Oh my god. Oh wow, this grew a lot. Um, let me get rid of some of this. I think I need to actually trim this. There we go. So it stops growing. Uh, okay. I think that should be good. Yeah. And then we can place the little leafies around. Just make this place look a little bit more green. Because that's kind of what I'm going for. We don't want to block off the uh, the grindstone though. But yeah, this place is looking really really cozy with all of these um, all of these uh, vines. But it also needs a bit of leaves. I like how they're green because we're in the uh, magical forest still. So it's very pretty. I'll put it in there too. And maybe there. That should be good. Okay. Cool. So let's enchant. Oh wait. First we got our clear. This one. And let's see what we get. <gasps> Looting three again. Knockback. Okay. Well. Hmm. That's basically what I have on this sword. Hmm. Do I- you know what? I feel like I'm gonna- I'm gonna reset this one instead because I don't think I really need smite. So... Really? <laughs> what a troll! You are such a troll game. Not cool. Come on, I have one more chance. One more chance. <sighs> Looting again! Okay. <sighs> I'll take the unbreaking rather than the knockback. I did say it would be good for, like, the bow combos. Ugh, I don't know. But we have our anvil pet, so does it... Shoot. Okay, I'll keep the... I'll keep... 
I'll keep the knockback. Yeah, we'll keep the knockback. Let me reset this one. Actually, I have one more chance. Dude, what's with the smite? I don't want smite. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. That's interesting. Can I stack smite and sharpness? I don't know. I mean, this is a pretty solid sword. I just really wanted sharpness. Because that's like what I'm missing with, with melees. I don't have enough like... <sighs> okay, we're, we're just gonna keep this in here for now. I'll, I'll get more XP anyway, so... Let's make sure we have our pixie pet on us so we can uh, utilize her. Or it, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put down these... No, we can't place that on moss. Okay, I'm gonna put down these ferns because they're kind of cute. Cute little ferns. Okay, and all right, let's go to the jungle. I'm excited. We're just gonna walk. I don't really feel like getting my um my gyrodyne. It's, it shouldn't be that far away, right? And I, I we'll see the natural terrain. Hopefully, yeah, because the jungle area is gonna be new. I'm excited. So yeah, there's so many things that I want to tame. We still have to tame Yuki, our little ferret that's in the twilight treehouse right now but um i still don't have any rabbit i've not been finding any i wonder doesn't don't don't cats give you rabbit if you like let them hunt for you while you're sleeping i think they do so maybe when i sleep i should let my cats stand up so they can hunt for me and then maybe we'll get rabbits from there because I know that I can make a rabbit farm, but I have, I've just not been seeing enough rabbits for that to be really viable. So I think I'm just going to give my cats a chance to help me out. Oh, whoa. Cool little cave. And okay, so yeah, I also want to find some more ant eggs. Uh, I need to figure out how do I make the amethyst. I don't know why this isn't giving me like a recipe. There should be a way. There should be a way to... Uh, how do you make this? There was a recipe on the Cursed Forge page, I believe. Oh, look! Little mushroom girl! Cute! Oh, we already have Peachy Pancake Marma girl, so I'm not gonna tame her. Um, Alright, where is that freaking thing? The, uh, I forgot. <laughs> the jungle. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I want to get the ants, I want to get Yuki tamed, and I also want to tame a ferret from pocket pets or was it i don't yeah pocket pets ferret because there's two types of ferrets we have critters and companions ferret and pocket pets ferret and also look at that that is a new biome from uh biomes of plenty so we're gonna go over there i'm excited and to tame the ferrets i'm gonna need raw meat of some sort so if we see any cows or sheep or something like that i will have to kill them all right, so this is actually, is that mahogany? This is mahogany, those pink wood types, but that's from Bibes of Plenty and I need the hexaray, hexaray uh, thing. I think this is actually it, this little green one. Let's see, they're both green, what am I talking about? Yes, okay, cool, let's get this tree, awesome. So guys, with the mahogany wood, um, we can make a mahogany witch's broom. I think that's what it would be called. And I I really want one. Um, I heard the mahogany is better than the willow one. And I'm going to take this coal because actually, oh my god, I need coal desperately. So we're going to just grab this. Um, actually, I think our purple cow pet gives us lava buckets. We could always use that as a fuel source, but... I, I do like having coal, just, you know, for convenience sake. And also, check this out, there is a uh, Heliodor ore here. So, okay, the thing with the crystals mod um, is I don't really think it's very useful. But I figured we could have it anyway, just kind of as like, we can collect crystals. I think that would be kind of fun and we can maybe use them for like rituals or something if we want to be a little bit, a little bit uh, role play -y. And I do like to <laughs> include a little bit of role-playing in my worlds. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I did not mean to jump into here. But actually, it led me to some coal, so I'm gonna take it. And there's like, why is there grass in here? Whoa. Check this out, guys. This would be a cool place to live. If you were like some sort of cave dweller. 
There's some coal over there. I'm not going to grab it though because it's kind of a little bit too far. And I'm lazy. What's over here? Ah, I'm exploring. Oh, look. Is that more Heliodor? Cool. So I wonder if different ores spawn depending on what biome you're in. I would assume that's the case. There's also um, a type of crystal that we need to get from the Hexaray mod that's apparently useful for... Okay, I'm going to kill these chickens in case we see a ferret. That's apparently useful for um, stuff, like crafting recipes, I suppose. So I'm going to I'm going to see if I find any of those. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to look kind of like geodes or something. So um yeah, I mean they're going to be underground. I'm not really sure if I will have the time to look right now. Why are you here? No. Get away. I hate those stupid fairies because they spawn everywhere. They're just they're too much. I don't like how often those freaking fairies spawn, but I don't know if I can change that. Maybe in the config. I don't know. I'm too lazy to check. Uh, anyway. Alright, let me just check if we can find a geode here. I don't think so. Maybe? Oh! <gasps> check this out! Silk cocoon! This is how you get um, the jumping spiders. Except I never figured out how to actually... What do I do with these cocoons? Because I... I was looking it up for my mod showcase and there was no information on where to find the silk spiders, let alone like what to do with the cocoons. Do I break it? <gasps> no! Oh my god, I think I killed it! I killed the spider, guys. I'm a monster. At least I got some silk. That's kind of not what I wanted, though. <laughs> We're missing the spider part. Um, okay, I guess we don't do that. I don't know what to do with it. Like, I tried bone meal again. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. I'm really tempted to break it. What do I do? Can I, like, pick it up if I use my spell? I don't know why I was, like, crouching on it, guys. Don't judge me. Don't ask. Let's see. No. No. Oh my god, that's like the first time that's not worked. Well, okay, so you don't break it, that's for sure. It just gives you silk and spider eyes, which is really sad. I killed the spider. I feel very evil right now. Oh, whoa, that's cool. Okay, I don't need. I don't know. Why you do? Why? I think I. I think I need to fix my keybinds because it's switching up my hot bars. Not good. Not good, Quark. 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 Why- why can't I speak? Okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna collect this coal, and I suppose since we couldn't find the geodes, I'm just gonna go home. And we're gonna see if we can make a broom. I'm excited. And, you know what? I'll try to get home before I, before it's uh, daytime, because I want to sleep and see if my kitties will give me any, um, raw rabbit. Oh my god, there's so much coal here, which I'm definitely going to grab, and my, my inventory is so full. Okay. Let me... Let's just go home. Okay, so I actually just used my waypoint, because I'm lazy. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. I'm going to set up both Yuna and Tuna, or uh, Luna. <laughs> we don't have a Tuna yet. I'm still looking for a Tuna, guys. So, let's sleep. And I hope this works. Please. Where's my stuff, guys? I think they they probably dropped it on the ground. Okay. I think Yuna's following us. Oh, feather. Okay. What else? There should be two things, right? Um I don't I don't see a a thing. Okay, well, I guess it it kind of works. I mean, we got a feather. That's that's not bad. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? It's fine. We can just wait. We're spook. Crap. Damn it! I need to pick her up now because I I teleported home. Crap. This is very inconvenient. But oh well. You know what? It's fine. We'll I'll grab her later, guys. I swear. I swear I won't forget about her again. <laughs> I have a very bad habit of doing that. Anyway. We're just gonna put this away. I'm gonna put the ant eggs in here until we have 
the amethyst stuff because I still need to figure out how to craft such amethyst. A uh, bottle of amethyst. Do I even have amethyst? Uh, I do. I have 28, which should be enough. Okay, so anyway, let's figure out how we can make a broom. So we have mahogany, willow, which hazel. Oh, which hazel? I didn't even think about that. So I think mahogany is probably the best. Maybe which hazel is better. I'm actually not sure. Slow, precise, and cheap. Quick speeds, and the item is fire resistant. Okay, mahogany is definitely the best. So we're going to need a item... Mi mixing cauldron there we go <laughs> and we're gonna need blood okay yeah that makes sense guys totally <laughs> netherite oh oh okay um i didn't know we needed that i am not doing netherite mining today i had enough of that in my mermaid episode that i posted by the way if you haven't watched day 60 it's up uh anyway Okay, this looks a little bit more doable. We need Mandrake. I think I have that? I should. And block of gold. Willow. So we can use Willow. We did grab some. We have 13 Willow, which is going to be enough. So we're going to need to get some blood, which is, uh, yeah. So to get blood, <laughs> oh my gosh, to get blood, we're going to need to do like a blood sigil, uh, which I think think I have that? Um. Oh god, let me remember if I if I can... I don't remember what to do, actually. Polish Blackstone. Oh man, please tell me I have that. Ugh. No. Damn it. I don't even have any Blackstone. Poop. <sighs> Does that mean we have to go to the freaking nether? I guess it does. Man, okay. I'll go to the nether real quick. Actually, it's kind of good because I want to check to see if it actually cleared the chunks. I did try to do it on my program. I'm not sure if it worked. I didn't check. So we'll see. I did keep the ender, the ender dimension the same because, I mean, there's really no reason to clear it. I don't think Bimes of Plenty even updates the end. I could be wrong, but I'll reset it if, if necessary, but I don't want to like mess up the portal or anything. I don't know how that's going to work, but anyway, let's go to the nether, and I really hope- Okay, we don't want to take Luna with us. Luna, stay here. Let, let's hope that this works, because I kind of want a new spawn. Oh! Oh my god! Dude, talk about worst spawn ever! That is, uh, horrible. Wow. I cannot believe that just happened. Um, well, this is definitely new. Look at this! Rose Quartz! Oh my gosh, more crystals, guys. Wait. Oh, wait, we have to get the big ones. <gasps> we have Rose Quartz! That is so cool! What do I do with it? Rose Quartz. We can make a block. Okay, well, I guess... That's fine, we can add it to our crystal collection. By the way, guys, I totally want to collect crystals in this world because, you know, I love collecting things. So tell me what I should do for my crystal collection. Like, what should I make for it? Like, what kind of building? We probably need, like, a room for it. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should make for my crystal collection, please leave a comment. I'm excited. I really want to do this. I think it'll be a really fun... Oh, no, oh, I wasn't fully grown. I think it'll be a really fun, like, little mini project that we can do um so anyway let's i'm gonna mark my portal actually so i had to clear out most of my waypoints because obviously the they would be different um so we have to make we have to find a lot of the new places again we have to find the dungeons i saved again and like some of the biomes i saved they're probably not going to be the same anymore so i just cleared out everything that wasn't really relevant um, oh shoot! Oh my god, that scared me! Jesus Christ, I hate the nether. Die! Oh, where's my- where's my bow? Crap. I can't see my hearts. Stop it! Oh my god, I wish I had my bow. Ah, that was bad. Oh my god, I forgot about that. 
Dude, that hotbar switch. Oh god, that totally messed me up. Okay, I don't like this. Freaking cow! Dude, I hate those cows. They're creepy. Oh, hi. Hi, little succubus. Get out! I want to I want to leave. I don't want to be here anymore. But what am I looking for? We're looking for polished blackstone. Damn it. Uh What is this place, man? I'm like trying to get out into the open. Why do I always spawn in like a little tiny claustrophobic cave that's like really hard to get out of? The lighting in here is awesome though. Like check out how freaking red it is. It's like pinky. Pink, pink hot, hot pink. Oh god, okay, this is really annoying. Let's just scoot past here. Is this still rose quartz? Yeah, it is. Okay, wow, there's a lot of rose quartz here. This is really pretty. Okay, so, um... I'm not going down there. Ah, uh, does that mean we have to find a bastion? I feel like that's the only place where we can get blackstone. Oh my god! Okay, that's a lot. Ugh! Stop! Okay, we're level 30 again. Awesome! Crap! I don't like being withered because I can't tell how many health health points I have. Okay, we're fine. Um, those stupid succubuses are so annoying. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa, this place is awesome! Check this out, guys. Get out of here! Get out! Freaking cows. No! Ow. Okay. Oh! Not another one. Leave me alone! <sighs> anyway... Uh, let me take out my... Self-heal, just in case. There's so many freaking mobs! Look at this. How- Did that just deflect or did I miss? I think I missed three freaking shots. Wow, that was sad. Okay, uh, what do I do? I need to find a black- no, what's it called? A, um, a bastion. Frick, I keep missing! Okay, guys, I think, um, no one really wants to watch me wander around the nether for hours, so I'm gonna just wander around and see what I can find. I am so smart. Check me out, guys. Now I don't gotta deal with any stupid succubuses or cows. Also, this is so cool. So, oh, what is that? Is that a bastion? That doesn't look like one. Maybe it is. What is that? Okay, yeah, there's definitely some funky terrain going on over here. I think this might be a bastion. Or if anything, it's some sort of structure, but that, that looks like blackstone, doesn't it? Hopefully it is! Oh, that's basalt. Those were the days. Enter Bastion Remnant! Blackstone, here we go. Awesome! Okay, so is this actually a bastion? This does not look like a bastion. Polished blackstone bricks. So we need polished blackstone, I think. Uh... Which we can make using just regular- Okay, so we got it. We got it. We're good. Just letting you know, guys, I literally paused the recording and then like two seconds later, I unpaused it. So we literally are right next to one. Like, this is really close. Um, whoa, that looks like a crescent moon. Look at that. Interesting. Okay, so I guess we are done here. I, I basically already have the blackstone, but um, maybe I should grab a little bit extra. I don't know. What even is this place? Like, is this actually a bastion? This looks so weird. Oh, yeah, I think this is definitely a bastion. Okay. Um, should I risk it and just try to, uh, get some stuff? Wait, where's my polished blackstone? Polished black- oh, here it is, okay. So, are there any chests that we can loot? Because I wouldn't- I wouldn't say no to that. Is that a chest? Oh my god, I think it is. Let's see, are there any piglins nearby? I think there are. Maybe we can just kind of sneak on top of them? They're definitely going to be mad at me, but I don't really care. 
Let's see. I just want to get one chest at least. I'm so greedy. Piglin brew. Oh god. Okay. Okay, bud. Let me just... Oh! God, that scared me. Okay. Let me kill him. Get out of here. Let's see what's in here. Ooh! Diamond pickaxe, crying obsidian, regular obsidian- Oh, pig step! Oh my gosh, awesome! We got pig step! We got some string, I'm gonna take that. Golden gloves, I think we already have... Diamond gloves, yeah! Okay, so... Uh, that's it! I don't- Oh wait, is that another chest? <laughs> don't mind if I do! Okay, I don't think they can get me. So let me just, uh... <laughs> Let me just try to steal this one too. Ooh. <gasps> Netherite scrap! Awesome. And some arrows. Coolio. I'll take the magma cream too. Block of iron. Okay, wait. Let me take this and turn it into regular iron and then we can grab polished. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so. I think that's all the chests I see. So before I actually get a little bit too cocky and get myself killed, I'm just gonna leave. Let's go home. All right. Oh, it's nighttime, which means we can get our cats to sleep again, or I guess hunt. We're gonna be the ones sleeping. So we have our black stone. And we need, what else? We need redstone, which we definitely have. And we need to make this mixing cauldron. So I think that's with a cauldron and then something else. So hopefully we can make it. And then that means we can go back to the Twilight Forest once we have all our materials. And do a little bit of blood, blood drawing. Yay! Oh god. <laughs> um, I did not expect the broom recipe to include blood, but I guess... That's, yeah. Anyway, let's have our cat sleep. Okay, let's see if they dropped us any raw rabbit. I don't see anything. Hmm. I don't know. I guess they didn't drop anything. Or maybe it's just kind of went missing. Well, oh well. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see. So, let me put this guy right down. Oh, oh my god, my inventory is so full! It's always freaking full. Let me put the netherite scrap away at least, because uh, we definitely don't need that on us. The magma cream, and this and this. All this stuff we do not really need. We have our polished black stone. Some chains I'll put in there. Should we grow these willow trees? We probably should. And, okay, wait. I'm gonna make... What should I make? Let's see. Okay, I have an idea. I'm gonna make a lockbox. So, hold on. I need some co uh, clay. Where's my clay? Don't tell me I don't got any. What? Okay, you know what? It must be in my... Ah, the twilight oak tree! I think that's where it is. Okay, wait. While I'm here, I'm just gonna grab some eggs. Oh, chicken escaped! Oh well. Anyway. Okay, I think we can- uh, I was gonna make a place for my crystals. But I will do that when we're in the twilight tree house, because I think that's where my clay is. But anyway. What was I gonna do? So... Let's put away this nether rack. I don't need that. I don't even have a stack. And how do we make the mixing cauldron? Okay, we can definitely make that. We get some coal and a cauldron. Okay, there we go. And our redstone. Let's take that and then we should be able to go. All right, let's go over to the Twilight Tree House. And when I'm there, I'm going to grab my clay. I'm going to craft a lockbox. And that's where we're going to keep our crystals for now. I'm excited. This makes me very happy for some reason. Okay, let's not take Yuna with us because I don't want her to like, you know. We will just go in alone this time. Okay, let's go. 
All right. Oh, hi, Muffin. Okay, so, yeah, I'm sorry. I left you here, girl. Let me let me actually take you to, to the treehouse this time. I completely forgot about her. Ugh, I'm such a freaking bad parent. Anyway, so while we're here, I'm going to plant my, I guess, just the willow trees. Where are my mahogany saplings? Are they here? Yeah. Okay. Witch hazel. Ooh, I didn't even realize I had that. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna plant that witch hazel here. So over here, <clears throat> I think I already planted some oak trees. Yes. Okay. So we need a place specifically for. Oh, hello, little bird. We need a place specifically for the. Oh, no, don't switch the stuff. Don't switch the stuff. Okay. It didn't do it that time. We need a place specifically for our witch trees. The hexeray trees, I mean. So we're gonna grow some over here in this little area. We're probably gonna have to make it look a bit a bit nicer, but we'll do that later. And hopefully they have enough room to grow. I don't really I don't really know. And let's place down the witch hazel, which we only have one. That's good. I actually don't even know where I got that. So anyway, you know what this reminds me of? I'll tell you guys something. Um last no, I think it was two episodes ago I mentioned some ideas for my next series of what I'll do after I finish my mermaid series and I did mention the jungle one and the twilight forest one but I actually have a third idea that I was thinking about for a while it's gonna be a little bit interesting but I think you guys will like it I'm not gonna give out any inter information just yet because I'm still really early development um, but I'm really excited and I hope you guys will like it. So just letting you know, I kind of picked what I will do next and I'm really, really excited to show you guys what it is. But yeah, so stay tuned for what comes next after, after our, um, mermaid series concludes. It's going to be really awesome. I hope you guys will like it. So anyway, I'm just going to plant this flower over here since I have it. And okay, so we're going to work on... The blood, the blood sigil. So we need to place down our mixing cauldron. Let's see. I'll put it here. This can be a little working area. So how does this work? I don't really... Uh, what do we put here? Lava? I guess this is the fuel, right? Yeah. Um, crap. Dump? What the? I'm confused. Okay, so do I actually need lava now? Let me see here. Um, if we use this cow, fills empty buckets with lava. How do you eat? Diamond nuggets. Crap. I don't have any, of course. No! I have to get some diamond nuggets now. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, at least we're going really fast thanks to Quark. Thank you, Quark. I still need to build that freaking bubble elevator. I keep forgetting. Uh, okay, let me go grab a diamond really quick so I can, you know, feed this cow. Okay, now he's fed. So, I'm gonna clear out my water. And I hope he fills it. I really need that lava, I think. Uh, I totally did not look into this specifically. But I hope we can figure it out. Okay, come on. Do it. Do it. Gimme. Gimme. I need- I need it. I need the lava, please. Oh my god, does it take time? I'm like right-clicking him, it's not doing anything. Okay, so maybe it takes time. <sighs> I don't wanna wait. Is there any lava nearby? Let me think. Uh, oh! There should be that lava pool all the way over there. Like, way past the fields. I guess I'll just walk over there and see if by the time I'm over there he either fills the lava or I'll just grab some. Hopefully the terrain is still there. But hey, at least we'll do a little bit of exploring, right? We still gotta check out some of the new terrain around here. And, oh my gosh, guys. I'm still trying to find some stupid freaking butterflies. It's like, okay, you know what's weird? Every time I load up a new world... I see butterfly spawning of all different types, but in this world, I have been hardly seeing any. 
So I, I wonder if now that my chunks are kind of reset, more butterflies will be spawning? I don't know. So I really want to find some more. I'm still looking. There's actually this really pretty blue one that I saw when I was doing like my mod review. But anyway, if we see them, we'll see them. But um, I'm going to actually go in here and try- Ah! Look, an egg! I see an egg! Yay! Yes, I want to get these ants. Hooray, we got a fire ant egg. Okay. Is that it? I think that's it. This is kind of weird. Um, let's get out of here. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take down. Oh, hi! Hey, little fire ant. I don't like you. Die. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna take out all the fire hill. Uh, well, not fire. The all the ant hills that I see because I want, I want ant eggs. So if we see any. I'm gonna be stealing their eggs. Trust me. Okay, so we're almost there. We have to cross this forest, which actually this forest? No, it's the same. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to keep the strawberry fields. So I didn't want to reset that. Um, so hopefully that lava pool is still there. I really hope it is. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, hello, Manjigore. I love how their eyes glow. It's very, very interesting. So where's my lava, Mr. Cow? Oh, what the heck? What are you doing here? That is weird. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what village this guy is from, but he is out all in the all. What what are you wearing? This bee has a flag on it. I don't know what flag that is. Very interesting. Or maybe just just a sweater. I don't know. But anyway, we should see it. Yay! I see it. I see it. Okay, good. I'm really glad that I that I didn't reset that chunk, cause I need that lava. You best believe. <laughs> okay. Let's go grab some since our freaking cow isn't working. Uh, you know what? I'll just... Mm, do I have any extra buckets? I'll make a new... Uh, I don't see any. Yeah, I'll make a new bucket and I'll just take two just in case one isn't enough. I'd rather be safe than sorry at this point. Okay, so let's go back home. I'm actually just going to use my waypoint and then I'll go back to the portal. It's so peaceful in this biome. I mean, in this dimension. I really love it. Alright, let's see if this works now. So how do I dump this? Dump. Dump. Um, what the flip? Uh, do I need to put like a thing here? Or... Let's see, do I need like a sigil? I, I can only make a blood sigil. I don't, I don't get it. What am I missing? I got lava right here! Ugh. Crap. Wait, what did that say? Right click to trash I- no. I don't want to trash it. How do I- Oh my god, how do I do this? Oh, oh, there we go. Is that- is that gonna work? Do I need more? There you go. Oh, crap. There you go. Okay, so it's full now. Uh, now what? <clears throat> do I- do I have to wait? How do I get the thing? Does it need- does it need- Heat source. This recipe must be heated. To heat the cauldron, the block below must be tagged as a heated block. That block must be lit if it can be lit and be any of the cycled heat. Oh! Okay. Can we do a campfire? Damn. Um. Let's see. What, what else is it going to show? Okay. Is it going to cycle? Hello? What else? Let's try a campfire, because I, I don't know. I mean, I can make, like, a lava cauldron, but I don't know if I'll have enough lava for that. Okay, let's see. So, we need some logs. We have twilight oak logs. Let me see if that works. Campfire. What are you missing? Sticks? I think we're missing sticks. Okay, nice. There we go. And, oh my god, my inventory is so full. Oh wait, did he? 
The cow gave me lava. Awesome. Thank you, cow. Okay. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna have to actually put like a- uh, oh, it's already lit. Is it working? Um. Oh shoot. Oh no, what did I do? Why? I didn't want to do that. No. Okay, hopefully he fills it again. Oops, that sucks. Oh! Oh, there it is! Wait, let me give it- Get, get, get! Air. Yes! We got the blood sigil. I feel like a very evil witch right now. So... Blood? Where's the blood? I need blood. Give me blood. <laughs> uh, am I doing something wrong? How do I get the bottle of blood? Blood sigil. Bottle of blood. Acquired by placing a blood sigil inside a mixing cauldron, then jumping inside three times to bleed into the cauldron, then take a bottle to bottle it up. That was definitely three jumps, wasn't it? I don't see no blood in there. I, I thought it was supposed to like fill up with blood. Well, let me get a bottle. Hopefully I can even craft one. <sighs> Crap, please tell me I have glass or something. Okay, we have sand. Glass, glass, no, okay, we'll just smelt it. One, two, three. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna actually make the, what? Where's my clay? I thought I left clay in here. Poop. Do I have anything in here? Oh, look, we have a lockbox, how convenient. Okay, so we're gonna put our crystals in here. I know like nether quartz technically could count, but I want like the special stuff. Not the lame stuff. Anyway, uh, let's see if this works. I don't, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to like fill up with blood and bottle of lava. I don't want a bottle of lava. Bro, give me the blood. Maybe is it because I was on fire? Do I need a... Dump? Oh! What the heck? What was that noise? Look, I'm jumping three times. Look, okay, wait, it's a 666. Oh. Out of 2k... What is that, megabytes? <laughs> so there's some blood in there, right? One, two, three... There's more blood. Okay, so can I- <gasps> Gosh. That is really creepy. So I have my blood in a bottle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is the type of stuff that makes parents say, Minecraft is demonic! <laughs> kind of feels that way right now. Um, anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. Obviously it's not that deep. But, uh, oh, we have a little witch's hat. Wait. Let's put it on. <gasps> Look at how cute that is. Okay, we should be wearing this while we're doing our witchery because that's only fitting. So we have our blood. <laughs> um, now we can probably make the broom. Let's see. So we're gonna make the willow broom. We need one bottle of blood, willow log, gold, wheat, and mandrake. I think we have mandrake. Let me see. Uh, mugwort, mandrake. Is this fully grown? Mandrake plants? Um, how do I get the mandrake? Can be picked from the related plant by right clicking on the plant when almost fully grown or fully grown. Oh, so wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I, I did it wrong. Anyway, we got the mandrake, one mandrake root. Quite lucky indeed. Oh, and we can probably regrow this, right? This is like the seeds. Nope. Um, I can't plant that. Uh, okay. I, when picked, related plant by right on the plant when almost fully- Ah, uh, berry bush and can regrow its progress. It's not- I can't plant it, though. It does it have to be on gra- uh, I mean on dirt? Nope, I can't plant this. That's weird. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, why does that keep happening? Okay. Fine, I'll hoe you later. So- um, now what? We need to get probably gold. I don't know if I have enough, like, around here. 
It would be very weird if I did. Yeah, I don't think I have any gold. So I'm gonna have to go get some and some wheat. I probably have wheat lying around here, but I'll just I'll just go grab some anyway. Okay guys, I just grabbed all the materials we're gonna need for a few things I'm gonna craft. Not including the sage, because I kind of forgot about that, but for the broom, because there's actually a few accessories that I wanted to include. So, I went ahead and craft- um, not crafted, I went ahead and grabbed all the stuff we need, and I'm excited! So let's go all the way up there, I really need that freaking elevator. <sighs> anyway, so, let's first actually make the broom, I think we should be able to make it now, so we need a block of gold. Let me craft that really quick. I brought a whole stack with me, so hopefully that should be enough for everything. And... Uh, okay. So, we need water. Interesting. Okay, so we need actually like different types of... There's blood in there still. Should I probably grab that? I don't want to waste it. Okay, let me smelt this really quick. And we need water now. Okay, great. Do oh, we have- okay, good. Yay! I have water. No worries. So, okay, let me make some more bottles really quick. Let's see if this grabs everything. Okay, cool. So we actually don't need all of that. So now we can put some water. And can I actually take that out of there? Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll use our blood sigil. Wait, I think I already had one. I'm pretty sure I actually already had a blood sigil. Like... Somewhere. Didn't I place it somewhere? Thought I did. I'm probably forgetting, but I think I already had one. Well, I guess it's not a big deal. We can have another one. Or I might be wrong. So, willow log. Willow? Where's the willow? Everything is so freaking disorganized. Okay, so I think this should be everything. So if I open this... And... Wait, that's all out of order. What the heck? Wait, hold on, hold on. So I think blood is on the top. Maybe it doesn't matter. Willow, gold, wheat, mandrake. Okay. Willow and gold. Oh, it's doing something. <gasps> Hi. Eee, we got a broom! Oh my gosh! Willow broom! Awesome! Okay, so... To open its inventory, crouch and right click. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna make a satchel. I think we can actually make different attachments. Increases the broom speed and drastically increases the speed on a full moon. That's awesome. Wait, I wanna actually... How do I make this? Wet moon dust brush? What? How do I... Oh, I see. We need moon dust. How the heck do you get that? Oh! It has to be on a full moon. That is so cool. So this is gonna be like a whole ass ritual. I never really keep track of the day cycles or the night cycles. So I guess we're gonna have to wait, but that is awesome. And then we're gonna have to dry it after. I really wanna do that. But first let's make the satchel. So we're gonna make the small one first because all I can actually do. And we need water. So let me get some more water. I'll fill up both buckets and then we can just have extra in there. Look, it's working! Oh my gosh, guys, I'm doing magic! Oh, so cool! Okay, so we have our little satchel, and I think this can be dyed. Can be dyed, indeed. Uh, do I have any... we have red? I don't really want red. I want purple. Mmm, can we use raccoon grapes to dye? Nope. Okay, well, I guess it can wait. It's not a big deal. Let's put the satchel on. <gasps> Cute! Oh my gosh, I totally want that to be purple. Um, do I have any 
We have pink. Pink is better than nothing, to be fair. I would rather have pink than just like brown. Although the, the nice brown leather does look pretty good. Let's just dye it pink and see. Oh! Let's see how this looks. Oh, cute! Okay, so it still has a little bit of that brown, but... Yeah, I totally want to make it purple when we can. So lastly, we're going to make ourselves a little broom chain. Which it looks like we can do that, but we're going to need to use lava. Crap. Cow! Give me. Give me. Please, I don't want to go all the way back. I'm going to wait. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I didn't get any lava. I was kind of standing here for like five minutes. I just went to grab more. Um, I don't know what's going on with this cow. I don't know like how it works. But anyway, let's fill this up with some lava. I'll save the second bucket just for now. So let's see. Am I missing something? Um, hello? Wait. Oh, we need uh golden nuggets. Okay. Let's put this here. Should work now, right? Yay! Hooray! Dude, this animation is so cute. Okay, let's grab this. Coolio! Alright, so. We're not done just yet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So, we can actually put a little charm on it. Yee! It's gonna be like a little keychain. Oh, shoot. There we go. So, it's there, but you can barely see it because it's in the floor. Okay, let's see how to ride this thing. Oh, 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 why am I moving backwards? Why are the keys backwards? Wait, what the heck? W is backwards and S is forwards. Oh, and it's slow as hell. Oh my god, it's really slow actually. But why is it like backwards controls? I'm so confused. Okay, well it works, but it seems like this is the, the speed it goes at. That's weird. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I was... <laughs> I was facing the wrong way! I'm an idiot! Okay, so this is- yeah, okay, this this makes a lot more sense. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is so cute! I need to take a screenshot. That is awesome! Guys, look at my little amethyst. I feel like a full-blown freaking witch right now. This is so awesome! Oh my gosh! Cool! Okay, so we did it! We made our room! This was a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. I guess we're gonna have to get some uh, netherite soon because I actually want to make the mahogany one. But it still goes pretty, pretty fast. I mean, this is acceptable speed for me, but yeah, it, it would be nice to get the mahogany one. Oh, oh, okay, wait, hold on. So, how do I go down? How do I... How do I go down? Uh... Good for building an early game. That's true. To descend, hold left shift. That's what I'm doing. Oh, well, it takes us off of it, but it, I mean, it is descending. Okay, that's really weird. Why? Why can't I just stay? I don't... Okay, maybe... Hold on. Okay, let me see. Okay, cool. I fixed my keybind, so now I set it to descend is V. So that works. Oh, cool! This is actually awesome, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love this so much. I'm totally going to be using this as my main mode of air transportation. Frick the freaking gyrodyne, dude. This is awesome! Hee! I love the little particles. Okay, so I was going to make a, um, a sage bundle, but I think I'm going to save that for next episode because I... I feel like I've been recording for, oh crap, for a long time, and I kind of want to end it here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with all of our new additions. I had so much fun with um, the Hexeray mod so far, and I'm excited to do more. We're definitely going to have to do more. And yeah, so uh, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more Fairy Core, and be sure to check out my YouTube members if you want to get access to my videos early, as well as some other perks. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!